In the specification, you need to be able to give the features of each store in terms of coding, capacity and duration. On page 64, you can find the research into the duration of short-term and long-term memory. So, Peterson and Peterson's 1959 study of the duration of short-term memory. The aim. Peterson and Peterson's aim was to prove that information is only held in short-term memory for about 20 seconds. After that, it disappears if rehearsal is prevented. Their procedure. Their procedure was a laboratory experiment. The participants were presented with sets of trigrams, which are nonsense syllables in sets of three, e.g. B, C, M. They used a re repeated measures design. They were asked to recall the trigrams in serial order after a delay of 3, 6, 9, 12, 15 and 18 seconds. Participants were given an interference task of counting backwards in threes from a random three digit number to prevent rehearsal. Recall had to be 100% accurate and in the correct order for it to count as a correct, as to count as correctly recalled. The results, after three seconds, 90% was correctly recalled. After 6 seconds, 50%, and after 80, 18 seconds, only 2%. So, Peterson and Peterson concluded that the duration of short-term memory was only about 18 to 30 seconds without rehearsal. So this research is, is very important because you will compare it to long-term memory and you'll use it as research in support of the differences between short-term memory and long-term memory in relation to the multi-store model of memory, thus getting you AO3 marks. Okay, that's it for this bite-sized lesson on Peterson and Peterson's research into the duration of short-term memory. Follow us on our YouTube channel and follow, follow our other bite-sized lessons. Okay, that's it for now.